Okay, guys, <clears throat> I made a video for you. Uh, admittedly, not a very good video, but for some people, this is going to be exactly what you're looking for. Um, so this is a the 2012 Chrysler Town and Country uh, Chrysler 62 TE transmission. Uh, and in this video, if you are looking exactly how to bypass the tip'em with a 12 volt relay because uh, you have P code PO882 low voltage I'm gonna give you the answer as a matter of fact right now for for the people I don't want to go through this whole video I'm gonna give you the answer right now I drew a picture of exactly what to do uh, this is not for the fuel pump uh, that's a another tip'em problem but no, this is for the code PO882 low voltage. It a lot of, in my case, it was causing the um, other codes of like 2-4 shift solenoid. And this fixed it. This fixed all of it. This fixed even um, the van running crappy and stalling. And it fixed a lot of problems. It, this is the 12 volt relay. Let me just show you the picture. Here you go. And I'll put it on screen too, but I made a drawing. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. Now, be careful. If you get the relays that have the little plug with the wires come out, be careful. Not all of them, the wires are not the same color on all those plugs. So pay attention to, you know, the yellow wire pin 87 on the relay. You know, maybe on your, if you get a different, so I'll, I will uh, link the exact relays I bought from Amazon. So the colors match this. But if you already have one or whatever, um, just be careful. The colors might not be the same. Just make sure you're using pin 87. And that goes to, you know, 26, 27, or 28 on the TCM plug. Uh, doesn't matter which one. They all go to the same place. You know, don't cut that wire. Just, I, look at that. I even made you a little yellow wire. Found the time to go get an orange marker. To make it look like the wire in the in the TCM plug, uh, but you don't cut that wire. You just shave, shave the insulation like that, and then you're gonna have to solder or whatever. But if you need help soldering, then that's a whole different video, whatever. But don't cut that wire. Just shave the insulation like that. Expose some of the copper and you know solder that yellow wire or pin 87 coming off the relay gets soldered onto that right the white wire gets soldered to pin number seven on that plug which is a small yellow wire with a dark brown stripe uh and that plug that plug from your tcm you don't even need to unplug it you just take the cover off and um I'll, I'll try to explain this a little better, but I'm doing this old school. I told you this is not a very good video, but here's the picture I found. You'll This is what you're going to see. You take your bumper cover off the van. That's the easiest way to do it. When you're looking at your van, on the left is the PCM. You're not even going to mess with that. On your right is your TCM, Transmission Control Module. See that little uh, zip tie right there? Cut that zip tie and this cover will just come off. You don't even have to, don't even pull that lever up or nothing to unplug it. You don't even need to unplug it. Just cut that little zip tie. This cover will come off. And then you're going to see all these wires right here. All right. Now for the, to find that pin, pin seven. See how I have a label right here. In the lower right hand corner of all these wires is pin one. So you just count up two, three, four, five on the right hand side, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you should find a small yellow wire 
with a dark brown stripe. That's your pin seven. And you're going to cut that wire. Leave you enough room. Uh, you know, don't cut it up close to here. It's going to be a pain in the ass to work on. But cut that wire. The rest of it that's going up into the van that goes up into the, the tip em, the fuse box, you know, you just tape that off or put a wire nut on or something. So this is where you connect the white wire coming off your relay. You're going to connect it into that wire. Okay, into that pin 7. Um, and maybe on the relay you're using, it's not white, but it should be 86 on the relay. Okay, this is the relay that I'm using. Pin 86 is white. 87 is yellow. The red... 87a in the middle that doesn't even get used you can just cut that real short or something and you'll see that i wrote that on the paper red wire does not get used and i even drew a little short red wire where i cut it um because you don't need it all right pin 30 the blue goes to the positive of the battery um you can run it right to the positive of the battery or i let's see somewhere i just saw picture where I put it. their vans not here right now I took a video of me doing this but so coming off the bottom of your fuse box is the there's where that red big positive wire comes in there's a nut right there that's where I put my blue wire connected to or you can go to the the battery positive you just need 12 volts um, and I'll show you that in the longer video that I made, but this is this this is the answer right here to the test This is how you use a relay and you do this All right now the other you know black just goes to ground find you a good Chassis ground find you a bolt on the chassis. That's That's a good ground and just put a ringlet on the end of that black wire whatever and ground it um Okay, the yellow wire, pin 87, on the, on the relay, goes to pin 26, 27, or 28 of this TCM plug. It does not matter which one of those you choose. They all three go to the same place, so it does not matter. Uh... So you're going to have to probably, I had to dig in a little deep. There's a lot of wires coming out of this TCM plug. Um, and it was kind of buried in there. But you'll know it's one of those three wires because they are thicker. They're much thicker than everything else. And it's the thick yellow wire with an orange stripe. You know, you can see my little, my little thing I made. I even found an orange marker for you guys and drew an orange stripe on it. Um... So you want to tap in to one of those, doesn't matter which one, but don't just cut that. You need to like scrape away the insulation and solder on that yellow wire in there. Tap it into there, okay? Um, that's it. Your two important ones are your yellow and white. The blue goes to 12 volt positive. The black gets grounded. Okay, that's how you bypass the crappy tip uh relay that's apparently built into a circuit board or whatever um, but this is it guys here's what you've been looking for how in the hell do you do this exactly that's it okay i'm gonna let the rest of the video play okay i'm gonna give you the answer the answer to the test uh po code PO 882 low voltage um, transmission in lip mode car won't shift I fixed it you can fix it for five dollars five dollar relay um, but I'm going to show you exactly how exactly what to do you switch this all right uh, 2012 Chrysler town and country and you can see that I have the bumper cover off um, and took it for a test drive and it is running and shifting good. 
Uh, don't mind the towel there. This this poor van is almost 200,000 miles. I mean, we keep it on the road somehow, some way. Uh, unfortunately, kind of have to. Can't really afford a car payment. Um, so we just have to keep keeping it running. Okay. The relay. $5 relay. All right. Uh, code PO882 low voltage um, was causing the transmission to go into limp mode uh, you know stuck in second gear won't go above 3500 rpms um, yada 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 so we I have already a while back I already put a uh, I put the, uh, okay, so the problem with this is the, uh, relay in the tipum, I believe, uh, which is this relay right here that runs your, um, that powers the, the transmission valves and stuff. And this is the fuse right here. So check that fuse. Um, if you're not getting any power on this, make sure you check that fuse and it's good. Um, but I wasn't getting any power there. So, which is right there, K5 PCM relay. And you can see on the picture, K5, K5. Okay, power control module relay. If you have your bumper cover off, from what I understand, that's your PCM. And that's your TCM. This, the right side here, when you're looking at this with the tire, this is your transmission control side. Um, so basically, what I did is bypass that relay. So with one of these cheap little $5 relays. All right, so I have that relay mounted right there. It's hard to see, but that's on the ground. So the black wire, I just have going like this, you know, with a with a um, end on it grounded to the car chassis. Okay, the blue wire goes to. You can either take it to battery positive. I have it spliced in. To this red wire right here try to kind of pull it up but you can see anyways the blue wire coming off the relay this blue wire I have it going to this right here with a little connector on it all right that's where I'm getting my power you can either go to battery positive or just that's basically battery positive right there okay so the blue wire is your power. Black is ground. Blue is your power. Um, white is your signal. This is what's going to trigger it. This is what's going to trigger the relay. So when you come here, I you know I don't want to pull this all apart right now because I put it all back together and I'm sorry, but I ran this white wire. All right, in the side of this, pin seven, it's on the right-hand side, will be a yellow wire. It's a small yellow wire with a brown trace, okay? So you start from the bottom right-hand corner, and that's pin one, two, count up seven. You see the yellow wire with a brown trace. Cut that wire. So now this side is going up to that fuse box which is dead so just tape that off the part of the yellow and brown wire that's coming out of this out of the TCM hook that white wire out of your relay into that that's your signal okay now the last one is the power so you got ground your 12 volt positive your signal, or no, I'm sorry, <laughs> the 
you got your ground, the black. The blue is your 12 volt positive. Uh, the white is your signal. And then that only leaves the last one. Keep in mind, if you're using one of these harnesses, you're not going to use the red wire. Uh, just cut it off. All right, so yellow is the power. Once this signals it, this takes your the power, and I have it spliced into this pink wire right here. Uh, kind of hard to see down in there, but slowly yellow. I have it spliced into this pink wire, which I have running down the side. And that goes into the pins. Let me check the board again. Pin 26, 27, and 28. It's a thick yellow and orange wires. There's three of them. And you'll recognize them because they're way thicker than all the other ones. They, are all, they all connect together, so it does not matter which one you tap into. You don't have to cut it. All I did was shave shave it so I could get to the copper and I soldered soldered this pink wire on. And that's it. That bypasses this tip-em relay, which is shit. And you can see that we already have the old fuel pump bypass going on. So this tip-em, any the stuff that fails already failed. So we got the root fuel pump thing and now we have the shift uh the shift bypassed with one of these little relays but once you do that clear your codes you got to have a code a reader that will do that this is the cheapest one that i could find that will do all that transmission stuff think diag 2 i got it on amazon um Clear your codes, and then you can go in and clear the, that that thing will talk to the TCIM, the transmission computer. And you clear your line counters in your transmission. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole video on how to do that, but it's under special functions. Um, but you don't have to go to a dealer to get your van out of limp mode. You can buy that. It's like a hundred and some dollars. It's the cheapest one I could find that is capable of doing this. Okay, so that's it. I will put an actual picture on screen. That's it. Code PO882, low voltage, uh, causing your transmission to go into limp mode and your shift to not shift. What have we got? Sorry, I can't think right now, but that's it. That's how you fix it. Okay, goodbye.